Hi there Booktube, it's Roz. Now, I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks for various reasons and I'm sure no one has noticed that other than, other than myself and the YouTube algorithm. But one of the reasons why I think I hadn't made one was because I had in mind to do, to record a tag called the Buddy Reads tag and found myself hesitating about doing that and I realised why I was hesitating. Not because I don't like Buddy Reads, because I do, not because um, I didn't appreciate the fact that I've been tagged in it, but because I realised that as a tag, it, it, it could, without meaning to, kind of feed into um, an idea that, that, that Buddy Reads and Group Reads and that, those sort of shared reading experiences that, that sometimes we talk about in, 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 on, on, on Booktube, that it's some kind of closed shop, you know, some sort of, um, I don't know, special exclusive circle of people that are allowed to do those and others not welcome. I remember feeling like that when I first sort of started watching um, booktube videos and and it took me a while to realise that no I, I, I could join in with those things and that you know I'd be welcome and that you know the door was open as it were. So instead of doing the buddy reads tag I'm going to do a video about um, what the various kind of options are around shared reading via booktube and um, I guess it's a, a booktube made me do it video because uh, which is kind of a little series that I've started and this is number two of that because pre booktube I didn't well to have a shared reading experience I would have to persuade a member of my family to also read a book um, that I'd enjoyed which sometimes they would and that was nice or I have my real life book book group but that's like once a month and honestly they spend or we spend as much time on social chit chat as on talking about the book so so um it's something that booktube has really brought to my reading life wonderfully and I think this month June 2021 I've got five different shared reading experiences running in various ways so obviously I'm enthusiast I'm by no means the queen of buddy reading um eh, on booktube and so I'm I'm making this video hoping that if you're you're relatively new and you haven't done or participated in a, in some sort of group reading shared reading experience via booktube this will be informative but also those of you out there that do it even more and have been doing it for longer than I have, please, please do chip in in the comments and kind of fill in the things that I might have forgotten to say. So what I'm going to do or try to do is um, kind of look at that range of shared reading experiences, starting with the most public and open and accessible all the way through to the sort of the most private and you know more intimate and personal okay so first up I'm not talking about readathons here readathons are something that booktube does brilliantly you know lots of us take part in them they can um uh, inspire you to read things um on a shared theme but they don't necessarily mean that you are reading something at the same time as another person and getting to talk about that thing in any detail Sometimes there's a crossover, so like Jane Austen July, uh, there's always a group read as, of part of that, of one or two of, of Jane's major novels, but, but you know, generally, you're not necessarily going to be reading the same thing. So I'm, what I'm talking about are, are those ones. Now, the most, I guess, public version of, of that would be what you might call a read-along. So that would be where a booktuber who has a channel will say, I'm going to read this thing, whatever it is. I'm going to read it, you know, in a month's time or over, over these weeks and um, I'll make some videos and um, join me in reading it. Watch my videos, comment. I hope my videos will help you follow this book or enjoy this book or get more out of this book and you know we'll have a conversation with between 
me, me the booktuber and um, anyone who's also doing it in the comments section and you know great idea lovely things um, not uncommon one I've done was um, uh, Brothers Karamatsov Matthew of Maybury Books sort of announced that he was doing that over the month of December last year and it got me into a book that might otherwise have sort of sat in the back of my mind and never got to the top of the pile um splendid idea anyone's welcome and you know totally public and just join in another example of that that's running over a much longer period is is that what tom's doing tom of la books with um dante's divine comedy and the conversation in the comments on Tom's videos about each canto is as it adds so much more. I mean, Tom's videos are brilliant, but that 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 conversation that happens, you know, is a lovely shared experience and yeah, one that I'm really valuing. Kit of Kit's World is doing a series about the Robin Hobb books um and he's not assuming that other people will necessarily be reading them at the same time but um it, it has some of that same function you know so lots of varieties of, of read along out there next layer would be a read along with more than one host or or where there's a sort of open invitation for more than one person to make make videos um an example would be Cromwellathon, where, you know, Jason of Old Blue's chapter and verse said, I'm going to read Wolf Hall over these weeks. I'm going to split it up like this. Anyone's welcome to read it along with me, to make videos or to comment on each other's videos. And, and you know, as a commenter to read along to and and, and comment on my videos or, or, or anyone else's. Yeah, great fun. Um, really, you know, um, a, a genuinely shared experience that a lot of different people took part in. Next layer would be um, a group read with off booktube discussion. Okay, so uh, that's where again one or people kind of announce it, they make it public, so anyone you know you can hear about it. You can think, oh yeah, I'll get hold of that book in time for the, when it starts. There's a schedule that you, people follow, um, and someone or multiple people will be making videos that you can comment on but there will also be an invitation to join a, a, a private discussion group um, to talk about that thing and now an example for that would be Faulkner in August that um, is hosted by um, Brian of Bookish and Ellen of Big Hub Books and Classics and sometimes others and you know they each month uh, each August they pick a Faulkner novel and carry us all through it but the there's a Voxer group that goes with it um, and in that group there's sort of lots of discussion, lots of more detailed unpicking that would be, you know, probably be boring if it were in the video or if you tried to do it in the comments, you know, that would be very laborious whereas on something like Voxer you could do audio messages, uh, you can share pictures, you can um, uh, links to things and you can type messages, you know, and you can go back and forth and, 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 and respond to each other in a, in a, in a much more um, active way. Another example of that, I suppose, would be um, Kim of Middle of the Book March and Elliot 2021, where she said, I'm going to read a load of Elliot books by George Elliot or about George Elliot in 2021. I'm going to put that out there. Um, and if you want to read some or all of those as well, then let me know and come and be come and come and I'll I'll, I'll add you to the Voxer group and and you can dip in and out according to which ones you want to read or not read. And, yeah, so it, very much you know ones like that. They have a private element, but the the invitation is 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 open and 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 anyone is welcome. Um, then okay. Finally, you get um, the the buddy reads that are off booktube, um, that are totally, you know, a, 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 a private conversation between um, a pair or, 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 or a small group of, of, of um, booktubers. Um, people who've met via booktube you know in a virtual way um, and 
uh, that's the one that I think people probably think, oh, how do you how do you get to be part of that? You know, how, where, is it all, you know, as I say, a, a closed shop? Now, those happen spontaneously um, through people becoming connected through, I think, mostly through um, commenting on videos. So all the ones that I've done, it's been where I've, um, either I regularly comment on that person's channel or it's a commenter that comments on mine and we'll be talking perhaps about a particular book or author, you know, and it'll be sort of like, oh, would you fancy buddy reading this? And you make that connection and then you go off and, and find a place to do that. Um, and Vox is one place that happens, um, you know, it could be on Instagram, it could be a Discord group, there's a Dante Divine Comedy Discord group running at the moment, so that's kind of big, or, you know, if it's just like two people, it, it's, it's, it could be, you know, any kind of, you know, social media um, chat sort of uh, program that you're happy using. Um, Vox seems to be really popular amongst booktubers for it, but, you know, because it's a bit flexible, but you know, there's various. And it, because it is more of a private conversation, I would say, you're not going to embark on that with a complete stranger. So in that sense, you know, it's more intimate, isn't it? So you do need to have have established some sort of relationship in, let's say, generally through the comments section. Um, but it can be, you know, two commenters it can be someone who has a channel and, and, and another person has a channel it can be a, a, a regular cut yeah there's lots of different ways that those things can 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 come together it's 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 it, it's um for example for me i made a video at the start of the year about the scally dandling i do you know reading books from different places around the world and i kind of said in it you know if anyone fancies reading any of these or thinking of a country that I haven't, you know, looking at the countries I haven't read yet and wants to suggest a book and 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 match up to Buddy Read with that me, with me, I, I'm I'm totally up for that. And that has absolutely led to a series of Buddy Reads that I'm doing this year, you know, which is great. But others have happened, you know, we just this were like a casual mention of, oh, um, and perhaps in a video, I, I think uh, I talked about having reading The Inhabited Woman. Um, from Nicaragua with Robin um, of Quiet Midden who doesn't have a booktube channel she has a, a nature channel um, and when I was talking about the experience of reading it I said oh, you know it left me almost wanting to read it was a novel but it left me really wanting to read her autobiography and then you know Robin and, and someone else you know Alba said oh actually I'd like to read that autobiography and you know now we're buddy reading it. It, it, it so it, it's an organic thing that if you're an active booktube participator you will find you are very welcome to um take part in but um you're not going to see generally a kind of a public invitation for that it's 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 gonna it's got to arise spontaneously through through um those connections that you you build why? Why would you want to do it? Okay. Um, most of us got involved in watching booktube videos or and commenting on them or making booktube videos because we we like talking about books and we like more people to talk about books with and the kind of books that we like to read that might not be the kind that our friends and family um, read and. So this, a uh, uh, buddy read group read, read alongs, they're a natural extension of that, I think. You know, like a, 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 a video is just a monologue, isn't it? Whereas, um, you know, I really enjoy um, sharing a book in more detail with, with other like-minded readers. So that's a good reason for doing them. Another good reason, I would say, and that certainly worked for me, is accountability and um, uh, extra impetus. 
you know, there's books that you've kind of had in mind to read or think that you ought to have read that you've somehow never got around to for one reason or another. It can really help tip the balance and make you commit to reading something and then, you know, you get a lot out of it. It, it can help, and again, this has certainly been true for me, it can help read something that perhaps has been a bit intimidating or off-putting that you're not sure, you know, uh, that you're confident about reading. Um, perfect example of that for me was reading Ulysses as a kind of a group read um, through through Booktube and with a, a Voxer discussion group. And um, we didn't get to complete it as a group because Covid interfered. Um, but it, 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 it broke the back of it for me. It got me stuck in enough that I was able to go back and, and, and finish that by myself. I've always felt a little sad that I didn't manage to kind of re, re, renew the group to do that. But one of the disadvantages of a, of a group read like that is that you have to go at the pace of the group. Um, you know, you agree a schedule and, and you kind of need to stick to that. And ultimately with Ulysses, I think I was glad to, to speed up. But I would never have got started and got through the first sort of third or so without the, 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 the group read, buddy read experience. Paradise Lost is a book that I've always meant to read but was intimidated by and so saying let's do it let anyone fancy doing this as a as a, as a buddy read um just yeah gave me that added whatever to to do it and then and this is another of the advantages of of of, of doing these sort of read longs and shoot your shared shared reads is you get other people's ideas and perspective and another layer of understanding or another set of thoughts, things you might have missed. Um, and that's a huge, huge bonus. Um, an example um, is, um, you know, I said, uh, I made that Scully Dancing video and said, anyone fancy reading any any of these books or, or filling any of these gaps with me and I ended up reading a book of short stories from Laos with Scott um, of Gunpowder Fiction and Plot and those stories were odd and the kind of thing where you think am I getting this you know am I understanding this is there another layer of meaning to this that I've missed and I think you know, A, it was really reassuring that Scott felt the same. And B, you know, sometimes one or the other of us would spot something that made a story make make better sense. So, so grateful for that. Another example would be I read The Crossing from East Timor with um, Issa, Issa Oliver, who's a, a, um, a, a commenter um, of Portuguese origin. And she said, um, would you like to read this? I've got it in Portuguese, but you could get it in English, which is what we did. And and so there, you know, she had different cultural background um, and better knowledge, perhaps, you know, than I had of, of Portuguese colonialism. But also she was reading it in Portuguese. So, you know, there were moments when, you know, those queries that you get when you're um, reading something in translation. And oh, I felt honoured, you know, what a privilege to read it with someone who was reading it in the original language. So, so many different ways. Oh, now at the moment I'm reading Detransition Baby with a group of people. Now that is a, is a, is a book that's not hard to read. You know, it's, it's eminently readable, but it's a book of really interesting ideas that kind of, um, that I'm really appreciating being able to question some of my reactions and responses to things in the book. Um, uh, privately with a group of other readers that I trust who I know will kind of engage in that in in in, in good faith with me and, and no one's going to say oh goodness Rose how could you possibly think that or you know no one's going to make you feel stupid or 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 um in a in a in a good in a good group read a good buddy read and that is one of the reasons why I would say they're not a totally public thing. You know, no one's just going to going to kind of put it out there to anyone and everyone. You need to have developed some sort of connection through through commenting on um, 
the same videos, whether that person is a, uh, someone who has a channel and you're commenting on their videos or whether, you know, you're two commenters exchanging, um, you know, comments with each other. You need some sort of connection to want to do a, a totally private buddy read with each other. And I think that's fair enough. And it's not about it being a closed shop. But, you it, it, you know, if you, if you throw it out there and say, you know, oh, you know, we're talking about this, anyone, you know, do, do you, would you fancy buddy reading that? If you've established that connection, then there's an awful lot of people who are going to be up for that and, you know, welcome, welcome you with open arms to do that. The final thing that I think buddy readers are brilliant for, okay, is, is that they don't only have to be for books that would be, um, challenging to read on your own they can also just be fun and the prime example of this for me um, was I read Cranford earlier this year with a group of, of other sort of booktube women the, the Cranford the Cranford women and it, it, again it just came out of a throwaway comment in uh, I can't remember that it was on a video of mine or someone else's where you know I said oh I haven't read Cranford uh, since I was a teenager and I wonder if I'd like it better now, you know, and, and like a few people said, oh yeah, I've had it, you know, and, and suddenly we have a group and there it was just about not boring your friends and relations by constantly saying, ah, ah have you read this bit? It's so funny. Or, 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 um, you know, when you're, when you're, um, you just want to share the joy and pleasure with someone else who's reading the same thing at the same time. So, that's my my group read buddy read intro. Um, I hope that will make it seem like uh, they're more accessible. And um, if you haven't taken part in one, give you the com give you the confidence to kind of to 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 get stuck in and maybe think about starting with one of those ones where there's a, a group read and an open invitation to take part in a in a group. But through that, you're likely to connect with people that 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 you might do future more private buddy reads with.